Thank you, driver. Welcome to Warsaw in the West Midlands, or if you're not familiar with this area, it's just north of Birmingham. Why am I in Warsaw today? Well, I saw a video on YouTube a couple of weeks ago, and it announced that the roughest estate in all of Britain was here in the town of Warsaw. It's an estate called Blakenall Heath, and I found that a bit surprising because I know that Warsaw is a very working class, rough and ready market town, but my family roots are actually from this town, this area, and I spent a lot of time as a kid around this area, and I make these videos all around the UK, and I couldn't believe that the roughest estate in the entire country was indeed here in Warsaw. So I thought, let's find out the truth. Let's come to Warsaw. Let's ask the people in the town centre first what they think of Warsaw and of the estate that I'm going to, and then we'll go over to Blakenall Heath itself and we'll see is it really as bad as the video suggests. And I'll put a link in the description below about that video. Blakenall Heath is quite notorious at the moment for a lot of antisocial behaviour, a lot of knife crime and some gang activity. So, yeah, join me. Let's see if Warsaw really is the home of Britain's roughest neighbourhood. Warsaw is fucking shit all, mate. <laughs> that bad? That bad. <laughs> Why would you say that? What's gone downhill? I love the football team. It's kicked crap. Every fucking day. <laughs> yeah, knife crime. Every day, yeah, boy yeah, kicks. No good, mate. No good. People getting chefed up. Chefed up? Yeah. It's, it's, you mean knives, yeah? Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a shit all. Everybody I speak to is mentioning there. knife crime. Go down there, there's a lad we are now we got, we got chefed up and killed. Do you feel not safe? No, I'm alright. You're alright? Yeah. Look after yourself. Yeah, How about so you, mate? It's just, you know, it's just messy and it's yeah. depressing, ain't it? Yeah, half the shops are boarded up. Yeah, it's, it's always been a really working class town. Like, it's like you know, I used yeah. to come here as a kid, but there doesn't seem a lot of hope now. So, I'm now going to Blakenall Heath. Oh, yeah, because apparently that's, that's, yeah. even worse. that's where CP gang is. Any advice for me walking around with my camera, middle of the day? You'll probably, you'll probably, probably get mowed up by a woman or something. Get you out. Yeah. We'll, we'll take it Keep off it on the sly. <laughs> we'll take that camera off you. Seems like I need you to protect me because you said you're going to be all right. So <laughs> you can be my uh, local I've got, fixer. I've got to yeah. I, you think I'm going to get chefed up? I heard that as I just walked round. Man says he's probably going to. Uh, he's probably going to phone all your contacts now, aren't you? They're going to be waiting for me. <laughs> you think I'm in trouble? <laughs> These days, children and teenagers seem fearless. In my opinion, it's Warsaw shit. I'm originally from Leeds, I've been here 20 years. Through drugs, I've been in and out of prison, shoplifting, committing crime. I know I live here, but... I think it's shit. Do you think it's a dangerous place if you mix with the wrong crowd? Yeah, definitely. It's very dangerous. I'm going to Blakenall Heath really? because I was told that um, apparently it's the roughest estate in the UK. Look at the state of Warsaw, folks. No wonder there's a lot of crime in the area because it is just grim and depressing. Markets closed, boarded up graffitied shutters, very depressing. I haven't been here in about 20 years. What's Warsaw like in 2023? Still terrible. <laughs> Is it worse than 20 years ago? Definitely worse. People yeah. Are, yeah, we're getting robbed every 10 seconds. I'm actually, after this, I'm going to Blakenall Heath near Bloxwich. Is business good? Very good. Very good, yeah. Very good. See the very good, nobody here. Yeah. <laughs> nobody here, yeah, but it is a terrible grey, drizzly day. Is it normally all like this, or do you, does it pick up on oh, the weekends? No, 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 all the time like this. Really bad, mate. Really okay. Bad. We've got problems like every town centre. I deal with enforcing the town centre public spaces protection order. Basically, it's a, it's a low level court order. There's nine conditions, uh, the things that you can't do, and they're obvious to most people, like you can't. Um, you can't urinate or defecate in the town centre, you can't openly drink alcohol, and so I enforce that order. Somebody told me to go to Blakenall Heath 
the right. estate there okay, because yeah, apparently yeah. it's really bad. It's been in the press. It's been in the press recently. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you've got to remember, they're just Warsaw folk. They're, yeah. They're, 99% of people are great. It's just that yeah. minority that are ruining it for the majority. Yeah. Talk to the normal people of Blank, not the normal folk. That's what I'm going to do. You'll find that. Um, they're just as disappointed with things that are going on as they're more disappointed because they live it. Um, but the folk that live there are just decent working class folk. We've got, um, we've got a problem, I know it sounds trivial, but yeah. it's not trivial, with pigeons in the town centre. Yeah, yeah. And uh, because they spread disease and the, 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 the pigeon mess and everything else. So we've got the hawk. Yeah, yeah. And Graham frightens a. Oh, the hawk, more than likely. Yeah. Uh, frightens away. The, the hawk's called Graham. No, the, no he's the called Bert. Called... You're Graham. I'm Graham. He's Bert. Bert's the hawk. He's yeah. Bert. <laughs> but the hawk frightens away the pigeons without yeah. having to without having to have a call, and it works when we're here. We just need to be here more often. It's a little bit worrying, but a lot of people I speak to keep mentioning that there's kids being stabbed, knife crime, teenagers and gangs. That's a little bit worrying as I go out of the town centre in a short while and into one of these notorious areas. I'm just on the bus to Blakenall Heath now, and the more I read, the more I do my research about the area, the closer I get. It's got a really bad reputation for crime, not just recently, but for several decades now. So this could be quite an interesting exploration. This is Blockswich, which is an area of Warsaw, just outside the town centre, and just next to Blakenall Heath. And from here, I'll swing due east, I'll take a right, and I'll go into the supposed roughest estate in Britain. I'm heading to a street in the centre of Blakenall Heath. Pretty much, I think it's ground zero for Blakenall Heath. It's called Dawson Street, and it was likened in the video that I'm uh, referencing about the roughest estate in the UK. It was likened to war-torn Ukraine, which I struggle to believe, if, if I'm honest, as I say, I, uh, I grew up near here and uh, my grandparents lived not too far from this area. They lived on a rough estate when I was growing up. So I know these areas and these people pretty well. And I know they're rough, but to liken them to war zones, I don't know if that's going to be accurate, but you know, in Warsaw Town Centre, I heard some pretty uh, harrowing rumours and stories of knife crime, so we'll see. So the Asda, the local Asda, backs onto the estate and they really don't want anyone getting into the back of that Asda unloading yard. You would think that the local authorities, the local council, the very least they could do is replace those letters so that the people that live here in Blakenall Heath got a bit of a sense of pride with the centre of their town. Pretty shoddy welcome to the area saw a video that said this was the roughest Mate, estate in the UK. I struggle to believe it, to be honest. Oh, it's that bad, because yeah. I go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, How, what makes it so bad? Well, mate, there's that many people around here, mate, man, who's looking at this poverty. Yeah, poverty. yeah. There seems like nice, decent houses, yeah. and then right next to them, there's like that house there, you know, on the corner. It's just, it's just money. Nobody's yeah. got any money, and that's what it is. Yeah. That's all it is, mate. So it is quite rough. Yeah, mate. Is yeah. it dangerous? Or? Well, depends who you are. Depends who you are. Yeah, and where you're from. Where you're from, whether you're walking around with a camera filming, filming yeah, somebody yeah, else's yeah. area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anywhere, anywhere I should check out or anywhere I should avoid? Or? No, as long as you don't bother people. Just be right, respectful. Mate. It's not bad here, really, if you're fucking. You, yeah, if just. You come from here. If you come from here. If you look after the people and around respect. you. Respect. Yeah. Respect, mate. I appreciate it, mate. Yeah. Right, yeah, mate. I appreciate it. Yeah, talking to that chap there, pretty much my understanding of these areas, it's about who you know, not mixing with the wrong crowds, and being respectful in these areas. So, this is the infamous Dawson Street, which apparently is like a war zone. It's rough, it's boarded up. I'm going to keep my camera on the low because a few locals have been watching me. So you've got one boarded up house there, but at the same time, a lot of the other houses, pretty well kept. That one well kept, that one's okay. We've got another boarded up one over here. Let's take a look. When I say boarded up, I mean, they're more than boards. They're like huge metal shutters. Looks like someone's been evicted. Yeah, there are a lot of like 
houses that have been taken from people. The most unnerving thing about my visit so far is that everybody clearly knows everyone and I'm definitely in their neighbourhood and everyone's talking as I walk around with my camera. So uh, I can't spend too long in this area but you can see the state of some of these properties. Doubt someone lives here, look at that. I feel sorry for the people that live normal lives and work and pay their taxes and have to live next to this because there are good, nice properties and then there are just ramshackle ones right next to them. Yeah, that one's in a bad way. But then you look over the road, really nice houses. It's a shame. It's not really that bad either day. It's like Foster, Chapel, Dawson, and then like the Heron and the Nissa over the road. Yeah. That's when the kids start coming out. They the hang floor. around in front of the shops. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. how you can speak to any of the, uh, the women behind the counters, man. It, they'll stand there, then they'll just like abuse, chucking stuff, and even the police and everything. Yeah. They've seen it, man, it's mad. And they're like, I ain't got no fucking problem with it, man. They just carry on doing it. They just don't respect the yeah, authority always, and the law, yeah. It's been the worst streets in Blackwood. So know. which ones? Foster? Foster, Chapel, and then Dawson. Okay. Like you say, Dawson's the one that was on the news with all the houses all yeah. smashed up and that. Is it mostly gangs of kids? Mostly, yeah. Nothing else to do with that. As a bloke, like about my age, do you feel safe or? I don't go out at night, put it that way. Okay, really? No, I'd rather stay in the house. Yeah. Just don't want the trouble more than anything. Yeah, stay out of the way. That's what you want to do. You get stuck with the wrong crowd. So you yeah, mix it's with. life, isn't it? Yeah, anything, anywhere you live. You could live in the bloody city with millions of pounds and if you start hanging around with the wrong people. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So I went to go and try and talk to him about the infamous beheaded pigeon incident in the fish shop there but they weren't willing to talk to me kind of threw me out of the shop I understand um, I kind of understand they probably feel a bit intimidated about some of the things that go on in this estate but there you go folks there's definitely crime going on definitely antisocial behavior I think a lot of the people are quite young you know gangs of youths but it is scary especially for older people and then younger people being threatened with knives. Pretty, uh, pretty big shame that this area is suffering from some of those problems. So in conclusion, is Blake Heath the roughest estate in Britain? I doubt it. Maybe the uh, video I referenced caught it on a bad day. Certainly, the locals stick together and there is a lot of crime and a lot of poverty in that area. Certainly, the locals were wary I was filming there and I didn't feel comfortable. But the truth, I think it's one of many estates, many areas in the UK that in 2023 is suffering from huge problems, huge social problems, antisocial behaviour problems and crime. So I don't think it's fair to call it the worst estate in the UK, but it certainly isn't the best estate in this area. Hey, hey, hey. How's Warsaw, 2023? Oh, it's horrible. 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 Disgraceful. What's wrong with it? It's shit. It's yes, just like... Are you, really, you, do, you don't want on TikTok? YouTube, mate. YouTube. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's Warsaw Warsaw's like, 2023? It's shit, it's shit. shit. Yeah, it's shit. So Why though? So Why? Give me a reason. Too, much, too many hoodlums. Hoodlums, like you. No, no. Yeah, yeah. You're a good guy, yeah? Oi, oi, what's 